Greetings. This is Ryan Roy of Tanadrine Studios. I have a few questions that I would like to ask to fellow Lightwave users. What if I told you that you can have a fully functional character rig in layout? That's believable, right? Okay. What if you could have six or more of them active, visible, and controllable at the same time? What if you could change the way that your rig operates to adapt to your needs with zero consequences. What if I told you that there is a workflow that allows your rigs to transition seamlessly between interaction and non-interaction by just clicking a checkbox? What if I told you that you can save your animations in such a way where you can just load them up and have the characters go? What if you could take a single motion file and apply it to all of your characters and not worry about foot placement accuracy or repositioning? What if you could have total control over how these animations play? What if you could take simple loops like this and turn it into animations like this? And no, those steps aren't uniform in height either. Is that not enough for you? Okay. What if you could just click a button, one button, and have instant motion capture on your characters without using a rig that someone else made? Oh, and of course, make those motion capture clips work on any of your characters, no matter if they are a stubby-legged midget or a hulking giant. This is IK Booster. It is Lightwave's single most powerful animation system that, until now, has remained almost entirely undocumented and has baffled and bewildered countless users. Well, it's time to change that. I am proud to announce that the first two parts of the comprehensive guide to IK Booster is available right now at Liberty3D.com. This is going to be a five-part video series which will cover every conceivable aspect of this elusive but incredibly powerful animation system that imbues so much value into Lightwave, you'll wonder why they don't charge extra for it. In part one, I'm going to explain exactly what IK Booster is and take you through its interface, important workflow fundamentals, and its various related functions so that you know where everything is and what everything does. You need to know what the tools do and what they are good for in order to take advantage of them, so I cover that. Part two picks up where part one left off and delves into the process of creating a fully functioning IK Booster rig and adapting it to characters quickly. I will also explain rigging workflows and control mechanisms that are unique to IK Booster that you need to know about, which include the topics of expressionless multimorphs, microscale hold nulls, and various other methods which are simply designed but powerful. Basic relativity for character animation is also covered. I realize though that just being able to rig something isn't really enough, so on top of that I'm going to demonstrate how all of these tools and techniques converge to allow you to animate things faster and better. 3D animation doesn't have to be a nightmare of tedious work. Parts 3 to 5, which are still in development, cover the specialized and highly advanced IK Booster workflows for relative motion loading, motion capture adaptation, and bone dynamics, and I intend to make them available sometime in January 2014. The training content that I have created is crystal clear in visual quality and includes visual aids and carefully scripted narration to increase cohesiveness and convey more information in less time. Because I understand that your time is valuable and most viewers, including myself when I watch other tutorials, are eager to get results out of what they've learned, so I do everything in my power to not get in the way of that. Included with the videos are also fully functional and usable scenes that include rig prefabs, example characters, animations, and other things related to the training content. Additionally, the videos also come paired with optional subtitles for those late night sessions or if reading is easier for you. Finally, know that I've published recently a 100% free IK Booster user manual so that this animation system finally benefits from the documentation it should have had since the day of its release, and it should prove to be a valuable reference guide when paired with these tutorials. So to summarize, if exponentially increasing your productivity when it comes to animating in Lightwave interests you, this tutorial series is what you need to get. My many years of experience as an animator will be conferred onto you in the time frame of a few hours. 
In the meantime, I'll be working to finish parts three through five. Parts one and two are available right now at liberty3d.com.